Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Eric. Happy Wednesday morning. Happy, Happy new carnival day. Our secrets. Big big week this week. Big big week. Yeah. DK three electric boogaloo. The uh, the middle issue, no, which you kind of got about. It's not any part of that. It's, 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 last it's a crusade. story in that yeah, universe. It's last Crusade. More yeah, insanity. Wasn't that from... like the last Indiana Jones movie? Or... Wow, what good. More, yeah. in, more insanity. Uh, uh, I'm, you're not going to have one here for your pick. It's uh, no. Dark Knight. It's the <laughs> Miller Azarello joint. But this time, uh, instead of uh, the joint. Cooper, God, I'm thinking a heavy, heavy joint over there. I mean, yeah, I'm thinking a little more medicinal yeah. over there. Yeah. Um, John Romita Jr. Yeah. And I know that Eric Warfield is not the biggest John Romita Jr. fan. I, have, I said I said it here right here. I'm also not the biggest John Romita <laughs> Jr. fan right here. Uh, I liked his stuff on Iron Man back in the day uh, when he was in Black Bob Layton. I thought that who was this. Uh -huh. that, that, that to me was John Romita Jr. Mm -hmm. I think lately, uh, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he has Klaus Johnson yeah. in him lately. And it's very loose. And it, I will I tell you this, John Romita Jr., great board guy. Uh, yeah. A guy that uh, can really tell a story. I had no problem with that at all. Yeah. Just a little too grungy for me. Just a little unpolished for my liking. However, the new gentleman... Um, and everybody looks the same. Yeah, all pieces look the same. Position. This one-shot issue, uh, DK3, yeah. The Last Crusade, uh, mm. has a inker slash colorist uh, doing uh, the inking chops on it. And it looks polished and it looks very, very nice. And I am excited. To read it, right. because I like train wrecks and car crashes. <laughs> <I always love laughs> as, 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 as much as the next guy. As much as the next. As much as the next. I may not yeah. like them. I'm saying if they're there, I also am going to go. Ooh, all, all the rebirth. Traffic anyway, right? Oh, all the rebirth, rebirth. Right. right? We've been selling out of that. We're out of everything rebirth. We uh, got that title on. We're out of it. Star if Wars. it says rebirth, yeah. If you show up after 11:01, uh, we're going to be out of it. Got Star Wars. Because, but why? Tell the people why. The telephone is ringing, yeah, man. We're yeah. trying to fill yeah. as many requests. It's not that we're hoarding them back here to sell them for seven dollars at Frankenstein's, like every other, you know, jag off on the planet. Um, it's probably a good we are that. filling gaps for the guys that are either our yeah. peripheral customers or our loyal customers that are like, you know what? I was a little dubious on the new yeah. DC Rebirth. We had other names that started with okay. Rio on it, Gurgitation <laughs> being one of them. Um, yeah. So. We're trying to put these books in our loyal customers. That's why we don't have one on the rack. Yeah. You know, we're not selling on eBay. No. No. So, so uh, CGC lots of... But this is not even, uh, not even much out in the Rebirth. It's because Superman... Because Rebirth titles, I think, are done and done. It's Batman 1, Superman 1. And we actually... Our numbers are caught up. Titans. Yeah, we want to have Titans. We want to have Titans by morning. Don't bother me. Come in for Titans tomorrow. Stay home. Green Arrow, Green uh, Lantern. If you come with us, stay home. You know, have to do that. Today. Batman, Superman, maybe. Today. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I if you, you miss today back. and come Thursday. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come Thursday. In the Zara world, yeah. it would be tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're not yeah. going to get today or tomorrow, is yeah. what I'm saying. If it was Zara, um, it would be yesterday. But comics for the day, though, yeah. I believe is why we're here. Yeah. Um, that was that last crusade book that we were talking about earlier. Uh, that's Frank the Tank Miller. <laughs> uh, and the books I was going to recommend seem to have uh, wanted us so much. Is that him with his uh, Jack Daniels? Frank the Tank. Man, I just <laughs> think of these other. You know as well that I grew up loving the Miller. It was Miller time for me, man. Everything Frank touched to me was joy. I thought his art was fantastic. Like I Grant Morrison, his... though, he always just tilted the mirror he a did. little bit and he gave had, you another uh, side of it. He had his own vision. Yeah. Now we know um, it's because he hated superheroes as opposed to Grant yeah, Morrison who loves superheroes which and he twists it to show a better side of them. He Miller twists it to show a darker side of them, which is usually a more horrible side of them, which have the absolute opposite effect of what a, what superheroes are created to be. They're, which better, is, they're a better example of ourselves and he has too nihilistic of, of a perspective saying they're no better than anybody, they're no, there's nobody better, everybody truly is a bastard and if you were if you were Superman you'd just be a prick and you'd take over the world for yourself. You would, you would, which is House of Secrets, secret number one, <laughs> never be tribals. <laughs> Eric, why don't you tell us your first pick of the week and yeah, I'm going to so go uh, find my straight copy Star of Wars, my Star Wars 20 something comes out this oh, week. You're gonna but go solo. instead, Han Solo number one. So oh, and we'll get some backstory to uh, Han and Chewie, might get some backstory to Han and Leia, I'm thinking. So kind of looking forward to that. Looks pretty cool. Artwork's beautiful. Lou? Marjorie Lou? 
awesome. She's gonna be, she's one of the image girls, I think. Snot girl and some other stuff. Uh, Mark Brooks is the artist, it's awesome. Marjorie Lou, isn't she that cutie? Yeah. Image thing? Um, she's a lady writer. Yeah, she does a uh, right. well, other book. She's she... like the... I should know her other book. book. I want to say she's awesome. doing some image books. Can well, I get, get it on? Can I get a juice? Absolutely. Sorry, I'm back. And Han Solo. This always got you long awaited. <gasps> the other Dark Knight. Me personally, I love Paul Dini. I think he's the sweetest guy I know. And the I, really and I never knew that he'd actually been mugged and almost beaten to death. And it's a true story. Autobiography. Paul Dini got together with uh Eduardo Riso, another uh, one of our, another one of our favorites. Yeah, we adore. <laughs> <Decide Eduardo. to. laughs> we love you. Me if, you're, if you're watching from Argentina, mi corazón. Nah, he's yeah. probably in bed right now. <laughs> he's not listening. No, no, they're right. on the same. They're just latitude, right? Oh. They're not. Yeah. You need to change your latitude. That's not, you don't so bad. No. But this looks really cool. It does. I think, so, I think the word balloon was. Uh, what was the word yeah. balloon? Uh, the tagline was like how. He was not in a coma, but when he was in the hospital after getting beat up and stuff, like he envisioned that Batman persona, yeah. and that kind of got him through his yeah his rehabilitation. His rehabilita rehabilitation was not only physical, but it was also mental. And yeah. mentally, he had all these conversations, and they're all in the book with like, what would happen if he met Poison Ivy? What would happen if he met yeah. uh, uh, the the Joker? What would happen if he met Bruce Wayne and Batman? And they helped walk him through mentally um, facing the world again. They say. Uh, not as the Dark Avenger, but a savior who helped a discouraged man recover mentally from a brutal attack that left him unable to face the world. And it looks pretty beautiful. Yeah, well, it's Eduardo. And yeah. Paul, two of our favorite people in town. Absolutely. We got to meet them, and yeah. they didn't. I really love you, Paul. I look forward to reading this. <laughs> I look forward to reading this. Black Widow, issue four, from Marvel Comics. More, uh, more Mark Wade, yeah. more Chris Samney. Blood and Snow. Uh, uh, Matthew Wilson, I guess. The colors from before. Um, yeah, great spy stuff, early um, Natasha, dark Russian history. And good, like, storytelling. Yeah. Pacing. Yeah. And, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely uh, in love with this book. Yeah, to tell so much story with just a few panels. Yeah. Right? And no word balloons, yeah. no nothing. Yeah. Right? Not it's just action. Shock yeah. full of yeah, exposition, yeah. a word cool. balloon. You're like, I'm back, wait, let me get out of the way. This word balloon right yeah. here. Um, <laughs> Peeking out from behind it. John Byrne Wonder Woman style. So. Uh, and Gorsh, Civil War Two. I didn't even know it was coming. Out. Civil War Two, number two. So it's a two two. Um, I can tell you, I've really been enjoying this. Uh, the whole Carol versus uh, Tony Stark drama. Oh my God, drama. Um, oh, wow. Art looks really great. Uh, this Marquez kid has really come on board, and uh, I like his stuff a lot. It's polished. But all my favorite superheroes. I recommend you buy it tomorrow because, pff, not like we got DC comics to tell you. Yeah. Sorry about that. Today. today. Still today. Um, <laughs> the big should be the day it should come. <laughs> well, I mean, Thursday's actually a great day to come yeah. out here because not nearly as busy as what I'm trying to tell people. You yeah. know what? Uh, but if you wait that long, oh my gosh. No, we'll have this. Yeah. I, uh, I got a metric time. Come today. Come this day. morning. Yeah. Come now. <laughs> as soon as we come now. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> now. Um, yeah, 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 I'm excited. Uh, got a lot of good stuff that I'm going to read. Um, I'm going to read this out of morbid uh, curiosity um, and catch up. I didn't read issues four. I know you haven't read any of it. You're like, uh, you just want to pour gasoline on Frank, and most people do. I um, just read those first couple issues, and they're just so preposterous. And then I saw like his variant covers for them, and they're even more ridiculous. Where's that variant? Look at this. He looks like Frankenstein. Come on, man. Catch That's a clue. Exciting. Shut it up <laughs> and wrap it up. Catch a clue. Happy Wednesday morning, everybody. We love you here at the House of Secrets. Come on by. Get your comments and get out. <laughs> love you.